Moving on to the IPL betting scandal, today Bollywood producer Parag Sangvi will record his statement relating to his involvement in the case. Parag Sangvi was summoned by the Thane police on Tuesday, days after actor Arbaz Khan admitted to betting during the IPL. Crucial details have emerged in the case. Samir Buddha, brother of a former police officer, was questioned by the Thane police. He claims his business partnership with bookie Sonu Jalal ended in the year 2016 and it was in 2015 that Sonu bought his car. Screenshots recovered from the bookie's phone revealed rates for betting for matches in the recent season of IPL. Mira now accessed an exclusive clip of the bookie Sonu Jalan talking to another man about betting. Let's in fact listen in to this particular clip because there is a lot that this exchange reveals to us. Let's listen in. So two important connections that are being probed now, one of Bollywood producer Parag Sangvi, the other is of uh, Suhail Buddha, uh, his brother rather, Samir Buddha. Now according to police, Suhail Buddha was in constant touch with Sonu Jalan, the bookie who was under arrest at the moment. And the police have traced a transaction of an amount of 2 crore 20 lakh rupees from Suhail Buddha's account to Sonu Jalan, which the police are suspecting is for IPL betting. After that, now in the latest round of questioning, Parag Sangvi is under the scanner. Richa joining me live with more information on this. So Richa, with every round of questioning, uh, new details are emerging on how this betting racket really operated and the finer details of modus operandi. We have come across instances of very senior police officers being arm twisted. Now about Parag, uh, Parag Sangvi, tell us more about his connection and his role and involvement in this betting scandal. That's right. In fact, during the investigation with Sonu Jalan, who is a high-end bookie, he has revealed in his uh, interrogation and investigation uh, uh, to the Thane police officers that, in fact, Parag Sangvi also was in touch with him and he also invested a lot of money with him uh, for in, in this year's IPL betting, uh, 2018 IPL betting as well. And this is why the police have, in fact, called him for questioning today. And uh, although he was slated to come yesterday along with Samir Buddha, who is the brother of the ex-cop and as we had given uh, constant updates about what exactly was asked to him as well but today around 11 a.m. is when we are expecting uh, Parag Sangvi to in fact arrive. He, ha he has been producer to various uh, uh, famous Bollywood films in the past uh, and it seems like this time his name has pro co cropped up uh, like many of the Bollywood celebrities right. that Sonu Jalan has named during his investigation. Right, because this is turning out to be quite an intricate saga, uh, Richard, to say the least. There is Bollywood, there is Underworld, there is the Mumbai's police force associated with bookies who are transacting in crores of rupees. Now, can you give us a sense of the implications of all of this, especially when we look at it from the angle of the IPL? He's absolutely, in fact, uh, during the police investigation, startling revelations have been made by Sonu Jalan stating that not just was he in touch with many of these high-profile uh, clients uh, in his for betting who used to invest a lot of money with him, but at the same time, he was, in fact, uh, he got himself connected to a number of these uh, senior level as well as lower-ranked officers as well, police officers. And somewhere, this was his way of safeguarding himself from any sort of... A 
Suarez because let me tell you he has already been booked under five different cases in the past and uh, arrested several times on various accounts one of these cases being with the Delhi CBI for which we saw a team coming in here yesterday itself so clearly uh, he knew his techniques he knew the way uh, that this industry works and this is right. the reason he right. arm twisted he reached the point of arm twisting not just uh, celebrities and high profile people but also police officers in this whole matter which which itself is something startling because uh, that speaks a lot about how vulnerable even the police force has been to these kind of bookies who operate with crores of rupees thanks for joining us richard